and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships Season 27, Week 2, Round 3. My name is Bomafet. I'm currently 3 and 2 on the season, 2 and 0 oh this week. But I've got a very tough matchup this round. Let's take a look at my opponent. B612. Let's go to the Hot Pot for a quick comparison. Well, the hotbot shows more red on B612 side than there is green on my side, so let's zoom in and take a closer look. The top section is GAC stats, and I feel like each round I'm getting a little bit less information from this. What this does tell me is that B612 doesn't really like GAC. Best score only 41k in the old system, less than 500k lifetime banners. This is somebody who didn't really like to play GAC, and even in the new system, the current score for the season is barely more than half mine. So I'm wondering if B612 just sets kind of an FU defense, and then hopes that the opponent isn't really able to do anything. The roster summary shows that B's overall galactic power is over 800,000 more than mine and a quarter of a million of that is in the top 80 where it's actually useful. There's also quite a bit more in the ship GP, which could come into play now that we're setting three fleets. B has 12 more Zetas than I have, and in speed, this is interesting, gear 11 and above, he's got a bit of an advantage on me. I have a tiny, tiny bit of an advantage when you look at the top 80. But just remember that this is average speed added and doesn't reflect the actual speed of any given character. In the Gear 13s, B does not have a huge advantage, only 14 more Gear 13 characters than I have, and we're actually even on Gear 12s. We're also very close on Gear 11 and above. So these numbers here actually concern me a bit, because it looks like our rosters are fairly even, Gear 13s, 12s, 11 and above, but when you look at that top 80, it looks like he also has more at the top of his roster. So he's got more at the top and equal depth. That could be a huge problem. He also has more six dot mods than I have. We're very close in terms of mods with high speed secondaries. Where we're not very close is in total relic levels, 439 for B, 267 for me. And if you look at the top of the roster, Gear 7 and 8, he's got 37, and I have 10. In the Galactic Legends, B has 3, and I have only 1. Now the other things that jump out here are no Maul on his side, undergeared and understarred Gideon and Bad Batch Echo, and only a 6-star Executor. Alright, let's go back to the game and take a look at the defenses. Alright, so B612 has already finished attacking, you can see the bottom two zones are both cleared. He actually started here in the top, and that was a good thing because he used a lot of good teams here in the top. Then he came to the bottom, and he one-shot all of these squads. But by the time he got to the back, you can see Darth Revan still standing. I've been hiding Darth Revan back here, for weeks and weeks and weeks, and finally it caught someone. So Darth Revan has held. I don't think he has anything to beat that Darth Revan. He's attacked it once and did nothing. And then in the fleet zone, the executor held. So that means I just need to clear three zones. Can I do that? Well, let's take a look at his defense. I did say earlier he sets an FU defense, and we kind of have that here. We have Bosk, GG, Darth Revan, and Gas. Now, here's an odd thing though. Only one mod on Darth Revan. Only one mod on Bastila. His Malik is fully modded though. Missing a couple mods on Talon. So this week started while light side territory battles were still underway. He had clearly moved mods for the TB and he forgot to put them back before he locked in for GAC. There are a few other characters that also are missing mods like Rex. 
So hopefully that helps me beat these squads. We'll see. In the bottom zone, we've got two Galactic Legends, JML and JMK, along with an Omicron Akbar. This will be my first time facing Omi Akbar, and a Newt Squad with Watt and Wampa. So I'm going to have to go off meta against one of these two Galactic Legends, and I'm more comfortable going off meta against Kenobi, actually. I know there are a lot more off meta counters to Jedi Master Luke but I don't do them regularly, and so I'm much more comfortable with Padme Cat against JMK Cat. The issue here is that there's the new Mace Windu in this lineup, and I've never done it against the new Mace. But if I can at least snipe out Cat, then I should be able to bring in Gas, and that should be able to clean this up. But we're going to start against his JML, and... I have a very slow JML, so I use the Jedi Revan counter to JML. Okay, we put the tank tech on Jedi Master Luke. Excellent. Now we flux. Uh, we're going to. We have Master's Training first to Jedi Knight Luke. Uh, we're going to mark Jedi Revan. Um, the stun will only stun a couple of them. Let's go ahead and do it anyhow. Okay. Okay, Revan's gone. Um... Jolie can bring him back, though. So we'd like to get rid of Jolie. Uh, let's see. I need to get that weapons tech out there to stop revives. Let's do this. Okay, we increased his cooldowns. Ability blocking him. All right, let's go here. Excellent. Uh, let's get rid of Jolie. This to Master Luke. Okay, Jolie's gone. Now we go after the big guy. Uh, we'll swap this to him. Does he not have the ultimate? Is this a non ultimate Luke? He has not been building ultimate charge at all. Did I miss that? Maybe I missed that. Okay, weapons tech. Not that it matters now, because we've gotten rid of Jolie. Uh, let's do this uh, with him. Okay. Trying to get back my banners here. Do this. Oh, and that killed him. So, 73. That was a non-ultimate Luke. So that's why he was not building ultimate charge. Maybe I should have gone with the off-meta counter there since he was non-ultimate. Oh, I wish I had noticed that before. Darn it. Okay, well, it is what it is. Padme Cat here. And C-3PO. 
for the confuse. Okay, that is expected. Uh, we'll go here. Big hit. Put the confuse on Kenobi. Okay. Kick to the face here. Oh, darn it. He got rid of the confuse. Well, this is not ideal, but I think it's what we have to do. Darn. We need to get rid of Cat. I think this is not going to work now. There's the high ground. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. We need to get rid of Cat. Um, yikes. Oh, don't do that. Stay off of my Padme. Oh, okay, this is over. This is over. Having that new mace in there really messed this up. Oh no. Okay, that ends it right there. Okay, so now I'm really kicking myself for not realizing that was a non-ultimate loop. Darn, 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 darn. And now I also know that the new mace messes up the Padme cat counter. Okay, um, well, let's do some experimenting then. We'll go up north. And this is an opportunity to try my troopers against Darth Revan, since he's so slow. Okay, we give this to the Dark Trooper. Now we Armor Shred. Punch Punch again. Okay, he's down. Now we'll stomp, stomp. Should I go after Malik here with the AoE, try and get him down, or do we take her out first? We take her out first. Um, we'll do this. Punch, punch. Punch, punch again. Oh, darn it. Okay, we'll do this. One more time. One more time. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to have to kill him twice, I think. Yep. And there's the fear. Should, uh... Well, I guess she doesn't matter now. She's already given him the savior. 
63. Okay, against gas, because Rex is unmodded, I'm going to try my bounty hunters here. Okay, uh, we'll roar. Call the mass assist. Call another mass assist. Ooh. Come on, Mando. Oh no! The increased cooldowns. Uh, I think this is not going to work now. Darn it. Not going to work. Darn it. Okay, um, I can do my CLS there, I guess. Taking Captain Han here, even though I wouldn't be able to revive against gas, just having the extra body in there for them to target could be helpful. So I forgot about um, I forgot about them gaining turn meter when they get hit. I guess. Okay, Skywalker's down. Now the danger here is that we could. Um, we could counterattack and kill Rex and trigger the, uh, the, what do you call that? Not savior, but the sacrifice. Blind them. Get him down. Come on. Darn it. This is a really tough R8 gas here. Get him down, get him down. Oh, don't go after my Chewy. Sit down. There we go. Okay, finally. The one shot there on Rex. Okay, here he comes. What? Ugh. When I said here he, Siri thought I said Siri. Okay, not good banners, but he's down. Should have done that in the first place. And I could have used my bounty hunter somewhere else. Okay, I was going to CLS this Bosk squad. Now I have no idea what to do here. We're going to go Night Sisters against Grievous. This is the IG-88 build, which if you watched my video a couple of rounds ago, I talked about how IG-88 can make this iffy because his Zeta prevents um, health recovery. And so that can really hurt the Night Sisters because they can't recover health when they're target locked, that is. And so we stun him to prevent the taunts. We stun him to prevent the target lock, momentarily at least. Get the plague out there so that we can burn down the B1. Of course, the B1 didn't get the plague, so that's not good. Just 
stuck here, even though he's not taunting. He's got the mark. And now he is taunting. Assist from the grave. Alright, I guess we'll do this. Really worried about my DACA here. There we go, very nice. Okay, let's get rid of that taunt so that we can go after somebody else. Oh, and then he targets DACA. Really? You jerk. Again, we've got target lock. Five. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let's try and stun this guy. That's some bad RNG. That is some bad RNG. All right. Going after Daka like that. All right, I'm going to go back down south. I want to fight this Akbar Omicron. And I'm going to try a Wampa solo here. behind the Kenobi taunt. Counter attack. Roar again. Roar again. Okay, Kenobi's gone. We have to go after this guy. Let's smash. Oh, all right. Kenobi's back and Kenobi's gone. Okay, 68. That was fun. Against this Newt squad, I was going to go with my leftover Jedi. So it's Basti. Like that. Okay. Uh, who do we want to go after first? Get rid of Watts. Give the buffs there to Yoda, who will spread the buffs. What's ability block? Call Yoda. Do a big hit. Get rid of the damage immunity here. Uh, maybe we can stun Droidica. Nice. Let's taunt. So Wampa is going to do extra damage against old Ben. may not have been the smartest thing to taunt with old Vic. But steal their buffs. <coughs> Spread those buffs. Roidica's back. Uh, nobody needs healing yet. Watt. Okay, we need to get rid of that uh, damage immunity there. Droidica is going to be doing a lot of extra damage with that damage immunity. Uh, so let's... Mm, 
If I call Shock, she dispels the damage immunity. If I call Yoda, he gets the buffs to spread. Spread the buffs. Oh, and now Droidica's hidden with damage immunity. That's not good. Okay, but now it doesn't matter. Um, I'm stealth, so he can't get back. Do this. Get rid of that damage immunity. Pay the extortion. Oh, he's he's not stealthed anymore. Couldn't tell because he was stunned and it looks very similar. Okay. A little more foresight out there. Uh, does anybody need healing? Maybe old Ben. Ability block is nice. Goodbye, Dooku. Pay okay, that. I'm gonna have to kill him twice. There's one. I don't know if this heals protection or not. I don't think so. I think it just heals uh, health. Do that. Sixty-five, very nice. So let's see what we can do up top. Okay, so let's bad batch Grievous. Ouch, and this isn't going to work because they were preloaded. Okay. That was bad. I don't know if this will work. Yep, okay. Excellent. Oh boy, I should have thrown my uh, my saber at him. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Okay, well, let's watch JTR burn against these super fast bounty hunters. Wiggle. Wave. Done, maybe. There we go. We're stuck attacking him. Now we've got thermals. Ooh, goodbye, PB8. That's not good. Let's burn them like witches. <laughs> okay. This is doing nothing. Yeah. All right, we'll we'll go gas here. Let's gun her down as quickly as possible. There's 
one down for Boba. Oh, and he doesn't get a two down because of gas. This is a tough boss. I'm barely moving the needle on him. Okay, finally got rid of that taunt. Uh, do I want to try and execute him? Beautiful. Wish there were a way to recover protection on the uh, clones on this squad. That's the one thing that keeps this squad from being, like, super duper good. 41. And here, I guess we're stuck with a GG mirror. Put the extortion. Yep, woohoo ha 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 ha. Twenty seven. Supposed to take Eben Hawk. Oh, I shot the wrong guy. Darn it. I don't believe I did that. That was bad. Okay. Um. Do we want to clean this guy up? Let's clean this guy up. I was probably dumb. I probably should have saved that. That's okay. Yeah, that was dumb. I lost him anyhow. Okay, uh, spy. Okay, we got rid of him. That's good. Attack this guy. on that. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to bring in him. And then I put chaff on everyone. Something like that. Okay. 
he's taunting and the other guy is not. Burn him down. Say goodbye, Boba. What does this do? Okay. There's our ult, which is great. Let's burn this guy down. Bring in Sunfack. Okay. All right. Well, I understand the Ebon Hawk now. We'll go Negotiator against Finalizer. Who gets hunted? He snips. All right, we can deal with that. Let's put the buff immunity here so he can't taunt. Or his taunt isn't a real taunt anyhow, is it? It's a stealth other people. So let's get rid of unmasked. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, like that. He stealths the other people. It's not a real taunt. Uh, we'll bring in Plo for some healing. And we'll push turn meter. Evan Hawk is here. Maybe that's why he didn't beat my executor. Unending loyalty. We'll clean up the Y Wing. Goodbye, Evan Hawk. Do this. And this should do it. Hey, we landed the debuff. What's that debuff called? The shield disruptor? Goodbye, resistance pilot. Goodbye, moon knight. 74. All right, so that's all I'm going to be able to do. So 1045 to 1242 is where we're going to leave it. Uh, very frustrated with myself for not realizing that that was a non-ultimate Luke. If I had seen that, I could have gone Grievous against Luke. I could have gone Luke against Kenobi, and this could have been a win. So very frustrated with myself over that. The rest of this match was very messy as I shuffled things around, trying different things out, but it didn't have to be that way. I had just noticed the non-ult on Luke. 
So the one time that my defense holds, I blunder on offense. So that's, that's so frustrating. But it is what it is. So congratulations to B612. I'd like to thank him for the match. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next round.